Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Our next promo is no secret in FC25, as EA told us almost a month ago what was going to be dropping this Friday. But we have leaks, and a massive leak at that, with what looks like might be an insane promo of Total Rush. Guys, EA might be going all out for this promo, and I'll talk about why in today's video. Plus, we have to talk about today on Wednesday. Will we get the Max 87 Base Hero Upgrade Pack? It might be coming today. What to do with fodder, what to do with heroes. We're going to cover that, as well as the new Player of the Month voting that is now live, and new Team of the Week cards coming today in FC25. It's going to be a busy video. There's a lot to go over. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, first, let's get into what happened yesterday on Tuesday in FC25, starting with an evolution that's honestly surprising to me how cheap it is for the pretty sizable upgrade that it is giving the dazzling dribbler evo it's 10,000 coins which is pretty cheap for a paid evo and the upgrade here guys is really nice max 82 overall striker position requirement here again a lot of requirements and no stat limits on this so still kind of ea must be figuring out those stat limit evolution problems from before but this evo gives out a skill move boost it gives out advanced forward plus roll price proven technical and some really nice boost short passing long passing even some dribbling ball control composure you've got some balance some agility this is a really really nice evo guys for only 10,000 coins it is creating some really cool combination evolutions and also some really cool just striker upgrades this villa libre card from la liga this is pretty crazy if you still have these three evos available that looks like a fun card also what a beard for him anyways some of the cards that fit in here that a lot of people were interested in luis suarez he's got a nice upgrade sorloth has a pretty nice upgrade immobile has one i want to point out where is jonathan david this card right here is literally better than his inform. Now we're gonna look at another Jonathan David card that might be coming soon, but if you're a Canadian or if you want a League One striker or just a card that's probably gonna be a beast, with future evos as only 84 rated on his overall but 87 pace 84 shooting and 85 dribbling and a four star five star with the other play styles that he has that card might not be a bad choice now there is also one massive uh evo chain that you could do here for rasmus hoyland I don't know if you guys have all of these still available, but you can get Erasmus Hoyland with Power Shot Plus, 90 pace, and 87 shooting with four-star skills. If you're a Manchester United fan, that might be an Evo that you could do. But really, I just see this Evo as a fun one. Only 10,000 coins to do. It's not really one that you can save for a chain. Uh, I have a Jonathan David in the club that I had bought, of course. He, yesterday, he went from like 650 coins up to like 2,000 coins. A lot of those low-tier cards, and especially a lot of the silvers, have flown up in price because of that evolution but a lot of them came back down because for the evo chains that they require a lot of people have already completed power shot plus evo and maybe even some of the most recent evos that are required in those chain variations so you saw those prices go up and then come down but honestly guys this is a really good evo pick somebody fun do it it's ten thousand coins and you'll basically be creating an evo for the future it will be really really good with those play styles and with the roles that it gives out let's go to SBCs and talk about the other content that was dropped yesterday two SBCs, one of which is very overpriced actually both of which are pretty overpriced we had another live SBC for Gwyn I actually went past her card Julia Gwyn from Bayern Munich the women's side it's a hundred thousand coins to complete this SBC which I think is overpriced she can play on the right and on the left but I just feel like not a lot of people or going to want to get this card done unless you're a Bayern fan. If so, go ahead and do it for sure. Anticipate Rapid. Jockey, not bad at all. She does have attacking wingback plus on the right side. She is right-footed as well. So, a little bit expensive live card tax, but hopefully getting some upgrades as well. I think either they played today or they won yesterday. One of the two. We have Women's Champions League games going on right now. Let's go to the upgrades because this was the big story yesterday from a pack perspective. The 83 double which is different from the 82 times three, less player, higher rating. You have to put in 84 rateds, five of them into this SBC. That is a lot. And I think I saw that right away yesterday. I checked my club for how few 84s that I had because I've been doing other SBCs. And I was like, yeah, man, at least for right now, I am out on this. Maybe after Rivals Rewards, this would just be fun one, a fun one to craft with 84 radius that you maybe get. But of course, since you need 84s in that, 
Guess what's up on the market? 84 rateds are all just around 2,000 coins. Yesterday, you can see here, they spiked up right away. It's not like they're up a ton, but if you invested at 84s at like 1.2K when they were minimum price recently, you are now making that coin. And I would sell those because that is a very nice price rise on the 84s because of that 83 double upgrade. So definitely not worth it to do, but if you just want to do an upgrade pack, you could of course craft that one and uh, 84s are up big because of it. Now let's get on to some of the news piece of what we're going to talk about today. We have player of the month voting that is out. I said there was another version of Jonathan David that we had to look at. Here it is. This is the league one voting. The three players nominated for player of the month for the month of September. Barcola, Jonathan David, and Greenwood. Now they don't give us a whole lot of stats here, but based on the stats, you think Jonathan David's going to win. Four goals, four matches. Greenwood and Barcola both have less. So I voted for Jonathan David. He could be a really fun player of the month card. If he was to get one, you think it would be a plus two overall, maybe an 86 over his 84 inform that is out, but it might not have the four-star skills that the Evo Jonathan David that you can create right now would have. So this vote is out. Go get voting, guys. But we're still waiting on the news. And I think we might see it today for Serie A and Premier League Player of the Month. Serie A, Christian Pulisic is heavily favored. Again, those votes were earlier this week. I think it's very possible that we will see those SBCs either tomorrow on Thursday or Friday for Cole Palmer, especially on Friday, but Pulisic either tomorrow or on Friday as well. So we'll be watching out for those. Watch out for leagues. I think that info might be coming soon. Now, Let's talk about the market because yesterday, since there wasn't a whole lot of content and since we're starting to get into kind of the middle of the week, especially today, Wednesday is a day that I've been highlighting is it maybe a peak day for some prices on this game. Kind of the market was a little stagnant. If you take a look at the index 100, yet this is a Monday's market went up, kind of just chilled on Tuesday yesterday. The market was really, really even stagnant. There wasn't a whole lot of fluctuations here or there. I flipped a Jopstam from 810,000 coins to 875, sold these Jonathan Davids that were on my transfer list for ages, sold my Martinelli's that I bought at 38 to 39,000 coins, and right now all that I have are a couple of Harry Canes, who's like 750k, and I was able to get him on some crazy undercuts here at like 670,000 coins. Probably going to flip those here today, just get them out, not have to worry about it, because of course, later tonight into tomorrow morning on Thursday, we have division rivals rewards. And with the other news that is circulating right now in this game with leaks, maybe the hero pack coming out today, I'm just going to take the safe route and be a bit liquid. Actually, as I'm t checking around on some more specific card prices, you can see that a card like Kunde yesterday was between 132 and 139,000 coins. And right now he's kind of under 130 just a little bit. So maybe there are a few prices on the market right now that are just starting to cool off a little bit as we head into Wednesday today. And that could continue because once again, that has been the trend over the past couple of weeks is that once we get into, see this, Tuesday, we go to 90 points, we go boom, down to 77. Then the next week, um, well, actually that was last week, so it's not a good example, but every single time the last two weeks, we have had a pretty sizable market drop on Wednesday. Now, is that gonna happen today? I'm not 100% for sure that it's going to happen for a third week in a row today. It'd be like as drastic of a market drop off that we had in previous weeks. I think we do have a market drop off today, but again, I don't think it's going to be, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be as crazy. It's going to depend on the leaks and the hero pack SBC. Those are two things that could make the market drop further today, but we will be watching that closely. And regardless, I will be looking to buy some top tier meta players during the division rivals rewards period late tonight on Wednesday, early tomorrow. And I also will be looking to buy Road to the Knockouts from Team 2 during the supply. We need to see these cards drop. And if and when they do, that will be a good time to buy. Also, for the Rivals Rewards increase in the market, which we still, I still believe we're going to have a market rise after um, Division Rivals Rewards. But what I would like the most is out-of-pack special cards. They're maybe a little bit low on a fluctuation. Luis Diaz, if you can get him at like 200,000 coins, that's pretty low. Verts at like 190, that's pretty low. Team of the Week 1 cards have started to go up. But like if you get Messi, 10K lower. If you get Usman Dembele, 20K lower some undercuts this Gabrielle price that's pretty low at the moment right road to the knockouts from team one if any of these dip I think there's a buying window buying opportunity and you'll be able to see those cards rise even a little bit further after rivals rewards so that's kind of the situation with the market right now we're going to watch it very closely today because there's a lot of news to talk about related to 
the hero pack. Let's talk about this first, guys, because yesterday there was an actual pack code that was added. This kind of weaves us into talking about today on a Wednesday. I mentioned in yesterday's video that the leaks were kind of suspect to me, and I wanted to see an actual pack code added or something tangible. Here we go. Yesterday, EA added the Max 87 base hero player pack to the code. Even though there's already a pack in the code, I guess they have to add a different one for SBCs rather than weekend league rewards. And there it is. So that makes me think this pack is either coming today or it's coming on Sunday, which is when we most often saw the hero or the icon upgrade packs last year, or it's going to come out sometime next week, but it's in the code. So it could come as early as today because the last couple of Wednesdays, like we mentioned, is when we've had the lone base icon and the lone base hero. So this is expiring. Could the max 87 base hero place it today? We're going to be watching very closely. If it does come today, obviously we would expect to see some fodder prices moving up on the market. Fodder prices dipped a little bit yesterday after we did not have the SBC after it was leaked. You can see fodder was rising yesterday. We didn't get it at content. All of the 86s went from 8.2K back down to 7.8. And now they're back up to around 8,000 coins. If we get the hero pack today, I don't think fodder is going to like moon. I think it'll just jump up for a little bit and then probably drop because we do have division rivals rewards and there's people that have been investing in this stuff for a long time so i would say sell right around if we get the sbc you'll want to sell within the first hour or two after it comes out i think that's when you'll see the most demand for that fodder especially in the 85 to 87 range maybe some of the 88s depending on the rating of this 87 max hero pack if it's requiring higher than an 87 rated squad even an 86 rated squad by itself I do think people will see that as an L and fodder may not go up as much. So I do think that fodder will be a sell if it comes out today. If it doesn't come out today, you could keep holding on to your fodder, but that's going to make things a whole lot more interesting and it won't be as quick as a return on that investment if we do not get that max 87 today. Now, of course, obviously we're chasing the top tier heroes. If we get this pack today, even before, if we if we see before content that there are some of these heroes 87 rated and below that are dropping, make sure you keep an eye on their prices like the job Stam. Like yesterday, he was dropping a little bit into content as people were maybe expecting that SBC to come out. Same thing with like a guy like Cordoba. Some of these top tier cards that are not gonna get packed as much, the rare ones, if there are price drops, that will be a great opportunity to make some quick flip trades as people will sell these expecting to pack them from the hero pack, but then not get them and their prices will go back up. So that's kind of the hero pack situation. We're going to be watching that very, very closely today. And the last thing I want to mention is this pack right here, the Uber Eats Uber One Pack, which actually we have some more information on. I found this article just a little bit ago, which actually says and talks about EA Sports renewing a partnership with Uber. So this is going to be kind of like how we have the Pepsi thing that has gone on before. It's not a promo. It's just kind of a partnership between Uber Eats and FC25. And it's actually only open to certain countries, Germany, France, Spain, Australia, and the UK through the actual Uber Eats platform. Customers will have the chance to win copies of FC25 and an ultimate team pack to use in game. And that is definitely this 81 times 11 pack. Now, I don't know when this starts or when this whole promotion thing is going to be active, but if you're in either of these countries, again, Germany, France, Spain, Australia, and the United Kingdom, You'll have an opportunity to get Uber Eats themed customization items, included branded kits, stadium accessories, and uh, of course that pack as well. So that's something to kind of watch out for, I guess, uh, as we see this whole thing rolling out and the pack code rolling out for that as well. Now, I already clicked on the picture and you guys probably already know it's coming next, but we got to talk about the big news, guys. Let's talk about the leaks. Let's talk about what is coming Friday because it has kind of struck us a little by surprise because we knew what was coming this Friday, guys. We knew what promo was coming because EA had literally told us about a month ago in the launch update pitch notes right here. If you go back in time, remember these pitch notes that we were also crazy looking forward to at the start of FC25? They said that on October 11th, the total rush campaign will be dropping and we had our first leak of who's gonna be in the promo. This is 100% a normal promo with cards and packs, guys, because this Mbappe card is 1000% gonna be in packs. I know right now that only Total Rush cards like Muriel and those MLS guys that have been a part of the season pass, they've only been in objectives. 
there's no shot that this is going to be an objective or SBC. This is going to be a card in packs. Actually, it's right, it makes sense. Like last year in FC24, it's right around the same time where we had the rule breaker trailblazers. I always forget those promo names. It's going to mix up. Trailblazers and Mbappe that we had last year was right around this time as well. He's getting a promo card this year too in total rush. Now, that's a huge leak, and it makes me feel like EA is kind of going all out with this promo, but what even is this promo going to be about? Well, obviously, it's related to Rush because it's called Total Rush, and even in this little excerpt, EA gave us a little bit of information that this Total Rush campaign will celebrate dream picks from some famous faces who bring together their styles and skill to unlock new combinations suited for the small-sided game. They say famous faces, big name players. I mean, hey, that's a big name player and a famous face, Kylian Mbappe. Who else is going to be in this promo is the question. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a big promo, guys. And it's not just looking at this text from EA and this first leak that makes me feel like this is going to be a big promo. Let's let's take a step back and think about it from the grand scheme of things as we think about Rush, right? Rush is the biggest game mode edition, the biggest edition content-wise to this game this year in FC25. There's no shot that EA is going to let a promo about this whole new Rush experience in this game fall by the wayside and not be hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think EA is going to go all out for it and put some extra effort into this promo just because it is about Rush, which they talked about on and on and on, right? In those pre-game pitch notes and all those articles and news pieces that we saw, it was all about Rush. And We've enjoyed Rush so far for the first part of this game. Yeah, there's been some times. Yesterday, we actually finally had the Rush objectives refreshed, so there was a reason to play it. I was playing it right now. I'm almost done with the next set of objectives. Of course, there's that mode with the, the RTTK requirement um, and stuff in there that is ending today. If you're trying to get your Rush points in, play this mode for sure. You get a whole lot more SP and Rush points from completing this than you do the Welcome to Rush mode, but I digress. This is the biggest addition to the game. EA is going to make this high and of course this Mbappe kind of proves that but there's also a few other leaks out there and a few other news pieces that maybe lend to that happening as well donk tweets yesterday starts friday for total rush items are suited for rush that's what makes things really interesting as well like when we think about what is this promo going to be if these cards are suited for rush like it says on the ea's website and like he's saying here then what's going to happen with stats or playstyle pluses or are there going to be different players from different leagues that like link up or like because it's five aside with four players in the outfield i don't know like i have so many questions about this or is it going to be a promo where there's a lot of extra objectives for rush that would be awesome that's what we've been asking for right right now the only reason to play rush has been to get your rush points maybe to get some evolutions completed and after you get your rush points done it's like well what's really the point i can go play rivals and squad battles and champs to get more rewards instead of playing rush although it is definitely the most fun game mode in the game i'm really curious to see what this promo is about and i think it has a lot of hype potential because of how rush could be and especially in the first week of the game it's kind of di dialed it back a bit i think in terms of the hype of this mode but how it was in the first week this could go crazy so i have not too many expectations i'm just really curious to see how ea is going to make this a w promo but just Thinking about the whole situation of the promo, like I mentioned, it's rush mode. They've already leaked an Mbappe. It's going to be in this. It seems like it's going to be an important promo. It just has to be, guys. So watch out for more leaks. We're probably going to get more information on what this promo is going to look like. If it's going to be good, if it's going to be mid. I'm thinking it's going to be good, though, guys. So that's another reason why I'm trying to be mostly liquid on the market right now. And ahead of today's potential market drop on Wednesdays, as we do often see, I know that I have the Harry Canes and that I'm down, you know, I was 2.1 million coins liquid and now I'm here at 800K. Well, these are just two quick flips that I'm going to be completing, but I got most of my coins liquid and ready for what this total rush promo might bring this weekend so let me know what you guys think down in the comments what this promo is going to be about i hope it's a banger and if it gives us a reason to play rush to get more rewards but also get other cards to add to our ultimate team that are like sick too could be really really good so let's talk about today on wednesday really quick to end off the video guys firstly brand new team of the week obviously it's going to be dropping today team of the week three goes out of packs Team of the week four is leaked, and these are the players that are in. Lewandowski, Valverde, Lukaku, Saka, Mane, and Kovacic. Now, I would definitely say once again, if you invested in any of these gold cards, do the safe thing. 
go the safe route. I know last week, a couple of the cards that were golds that went out of packs continued to rise. The safe route is always sell the gold cards before they go out of packs. Some of them could continue to rise a little bit more today, but especially since it's a Wednesday and we're expecting the market to drop a bit. If you bought Saka for, well, what is he right now? 30,000 coins. Pretty sure he was like 26K on the weekend. He might even be like 31K right now. Yeah, right around 31K. That's a sell in my opinion. Same thing with Valverde. Maybe you could hold Lewandowski because of how much fodder is kind of going up at the moment as an 88 rated card. What is he? Is he like 20,000 coins? Yeah, right at 20,000 coins. You could maybe hold that one because if he goes out of packs, well, he is going out of packs with the inform. That will make his card potentially go even higher if we have uh, SBCs that require the 88. So that was maybe be one that I would hold. But the other ones, I would sell those before they go uh, out of packs today as people have invested in those a lot for sure, just to be safe. Now, what else are we going to get today on Wednesday? Well, I think on Wednesdays with the new team of the week, we always get a brand new team of the week cosmetic email or Evo. That is a SBC that you claim it as an Evo. And uh, yeah, I don't know why those are so expensive or why we still have those because I personally have not done a single one of these since they have been dropped. And we actually may not have had one last week. But remember, there's the team of the week one and two uh, evolution. So maybe that's going to come out today. We'll be watching out for that. Of course, we're talking about the hero pack. That's going to be the biggest pack that we look forward to today. If it's going to be dropping or not, the max 87 base hero, we will be on stream ready to trade with that, ready to make coins off of that, and probably ready to craft that as best as we can with that drop potentially coming today. And then also maybe one last player SBC. Like I mentioned, I think we still have Stiller from Stuttgart, center attacking mid. That could be a live card that could be dropped today as well as a player SBC. Other than that, Wednesdays have been about team of the week and they've been about the market crashing. So again, be very careful with the market at the moment. Heroes are going to be a very, very, very popular place today to be making coins. Same thing with out of pack special cards and meta golds with division rivals rewards. But we're going to be talking, look at that. Another Harry Kane for 677. Who's listing these cards up? Dude, I have three. I'm broke now because I have three Harry Canes that have been listed 50 or 60K below what he's going for on the market. So I'm just going to make my 100,000 coins here of basically like 35K per cane. I'm so shocked at why these keep getting listed. But I think this card is getting listed by coin transfers a lot. And that has to be one of the reasons. Like, guys, this card is literally 750K, 740. Like, I can sell that 677 that I just got for 740. It's crazy. So I've got three of those now and I'm broke. I'm going to sell those today before content, before potentially he drops later tonight. But that's the video for me today, guys. If you want to see me on stream today, drop down in the link in the description. Check us out there. Come say hi in chat and we'll ask your questions about investing and trading and all that. We will be covering the market as always today on stream. So if you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys on stream today. Peace out.